So our question states, how many ways can four boys and two girls sit in a row if there are no restrictions on where they sit in the row? Okay, well, if there's no restrictions, then we really didn't need to state that there was boys and girls there. We could just say that there were six people. Because with no restrictions, there are six factorial ways that these people can sit. And six factorial, if you go to your calculators, is 720. Okay. Now we're going to introduce a restriction here. We're going to let all the boys sit together and all the girls sit together. Now that means what we've got here are boys and girls. So we've got this group of boys, group of girls here. Now, there are two factorial ways that those groups can sit. It can be boys, girls, girls, boys. But then in each, inside each of these, there are four boys here and two girls here, which means there are four factorial ways those boys can sit and two factorial ways the girls can sit within those groups. Okay, so just think about what we're doing here. The, this two factorial is organizing the groups. This four factorial and this two factorial are organizing the individuals within those groups. And when you multiply that all together, you will get that there are 96 different ways that the boys can sit together and the girls can sit together.